Some mixed messages there. Let's go to our NBA insider extraordinaire. Good morning, Woj. What, what is the latest that we are hearing on the NBA and their plans for return? Well, I, I think Steve Kerr's uh, comments to start there, Greeny, I think sounded more like a preference or a hope uh, that they don't have anything to play for. And there are a lot of teams uh, in that boat who aren't going to be in the playoffs, who are in the lottery, uh, who the, the few regular season games you might play in a resumption of the season don't really carry value to the players, the coaches. Uh, I think, but I think teams who have younger rosters would like to get some, almost treat it like kind of a summer league mini camp. But uh, the league still is forging on, trying to find a way to get there. Uh, you know, the Lakers, other teams would like to be able to get uh, back in their gyms on a very limited startup basis. And, you know, these workouts would be just voluntary workouts, players no more than four at a time in the gym. Uh, just getting a ball back in their hands, having a, a basket to shoot at. And uh, that's where we are right now. It's, it's a very long way from a legitimate resumption of play. And, and that's still something that uh, is very much up in the air for the league. All right. So while we wait for that, there was some news yesterday, Woj, I wanted to get a very quick perspective on from you here. It involves a five-star point guard by the name of Dacian Nix, who has decommitted from UCLA and signed on with the NBA's new G League Pathway program. He's the third top prospect to join the G League. Another one of them, Jalen Green, is the potential number one pick in the draft. We talked about this uh, when Jalen made that decision a few weeks ago, and you see that some of the names here on your screen. They're going into this Pathway program. Again, I will ask you, Woj, what is the reaction around the sport right now with these players making this decision to go to the G League? Well, well two things, Greeny. Number one, remember, this is what the NCAA said it wanted when uh, Condoleezza Rice's commission said that one and done should be eliminated. Players who didn't want to be in college basketball should have a legitimate uh, option out there. And now it's there with this G League uh, professional pathway program. The league would prefer to have one and done be finished. They haven't agreed with the Players Association uh, on how that would look and uh, a deal uh, that would allow players to go right directly into the NBA. So this is really a bridge program. And what's changed this is the money. The NBA's willingness to pay anywhere between, you know, $250,000, $500,000 for the elite players. They had a program in place at $125,000. That wasn't moving anyone. And also they're putting, being put in an elite program, not in the rigors of a G League schedule where you're flying all over the country. Uh, on Southwest and getting up at 6 a.m. Uh, for connecting flights through Iowa. That's not what the elite players want to be in at that age. And so I think this benefits both sides. This is what both sides have said they wanted. And, and for the NBA now, they get their elite prospects uh, in an environment that they can control, especially in a year or maybe two years coming up, where who, who knows what college athletics looks like. This is a, a training ground now to protect their precious resources, which is the future talent of their league. It's going to be really 